Hey, good morning, guys. Welcome back to our off-grid chicken coop build here. Day number two. In the blizzard this time. <laughs> we probably got about three inches or so of snow last night. It's hard to tell because it's really dry and blowing. And so some places it's like six inches, other places there's barely any. We're gonna start actually with the chicken coop door, cutting that open right here. Yeah, 10 by 10 seems like a pretty small door, but everything I read says chicken coop doors should be 10 by 10. <laughs> so that's what we're going with. They are a pretty small bird. It's true. I guess they like to squeeze through a hole maybe. I don't know for sure. <laughs> Bye, young man. <laughs> Most used tool on the homestead. <laughs> How many times has Marty said that? I don't know, it's a lot, man. I use it all the time. Marty is measuring the two by fours for the human door. These yeah. are like the braces, basically, right? Yeah. For framing it in. You got your high heels on, and I'm wearing my worn out jeans. Alright, that's the top of the door right there. We'll come down right here. Come down right here. Now we just gotta draw the bottom of the door. We should be ready to start cutting. Ready? So we used different screws for these two right here because they'll go they go in deeper they go way under the two by four actually they go just barely all the way through the two by four and that way the hinge will be a lot stronger because it'll be um the screws are a lot stronger Nice. All right, let's try it, huh? Is it gonna work? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, look at that. Nice. <laughs> it works. We'll get a we'll get a bolt lock right here instead later, but we'll use this for now so it doesn't blow open and stuff. So we're gonna try something here. I don't know if it's gonna work, but this is two feet long. We need it one foot long. It's gonna saw me in half. So I'm gonna saw Jules in half right here. Okay, ready? Mm-hmm. You guys think it's gonna work? I don't know. Here we go.
So close. Oh. There we go. Huh? Worked. Basically. Wow. Nice. I'm like totally vibrated. Cool. <laughs> This is the wire, I think, that wraps around it, that holds, oh, it, the... holds it together. Yeah. There's a trick for you guys. Mm. Just cut it with the Sawzall. Okay, so this is the door here. There will be um, a hook right here and a string that comes up through this board up here. Come over and it'll run over to the door over there. So that when you pull the string, the door comes up. When you let go of the string, it drops. There's a potential problem here that you get some buildup of stuff down under here and then the door doesn't shut all the way. That could be a problem. But what eventually we would like to get is a automatic door, which will actually mount on the outside. And so later on, maybe sometime this summer, we'll get an automatic door and it'll automatically open and close at um, dawn and dusk. Yeah, awesome. The further we move on from all those yesterdays, happiness gets nearer. Check out Marty's fancy step ladder today. Ah. Nice igloo. <laughs> Ice chest. It's getting clear. The more I think of all the tough times we survived, the more it makes me smile. If nothing's broken us, you yeah, nothing ever will. Cause dreams are hard to kill. working on framing up this right here which is where the nesting boxes are going to be the nesting box side Just hold on tight. Siding is up for the nesting box wall here. All right, so this square right here is gonna be the opening for the nesting box. So all we're gonna do is just take some screws. All right, so we're just gonna put a screw in the corner right here. Run it out. And then we'll be able to draw our lines on the other side so we can cut it out. You know, this morning it was 12 degrees and it has warmed up to a balmy 14 degrees today. Right. Now we can draw our lines on the other side. Whew. Okay, it's looking good. Most used tool on the homestead. <laughs> That's the second time for this video. <laughs> I know. Oh, hey, check it out though, guys. Check this out for reals. Um, all right, so buying quality tools, right? One thing that I love is this tool because it's a quality tool. It's a SOG multi-tool. Now, I broke the Phillips screwdriver. See, this one's black. I broke it doing something that I shouldn't really have been doing. And the, uh, so I wrote him an email and I said, hey, I broke my Phillips screwdriver. How can I get a new one? And a few days later, it came in the mail, free. Take care of you, it's nice. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Half of it's open. Engine light. Somehow 
Alright, let's see how she fits. Oh, nice. Like a glove. Oh, like a glove. Look at that, man. That's perfect. That, it's going to work out good, guys. These are going to be some happy hens. <laughs> an egg a day. Somebody asked how much rent was on this thing. And I said, it's an egg a day. And if you don't pay, you get the axe. <laughs> Dad. It's true, man. Chickens got to work for their living. They get the axe. Got it. Let me show you where we're at so far. Nesting boxes are coming along pretty good, right? So the lid is gonna go on like this, like that. And it'll cause, it'll be like a roof form right here. Okay, and then we'll have um, six nesting boxes in here. Let me show you from the other side over here. All right, so it looks like that. So the chickens, you got a, you got a, uh, about a four inch step up into the nesting box right there. There'll be a two by four that runs along right here, kind of where that level is. That way the chickens can't just like kick out all the bedding material in there. Maybe you're wondering why we weren't using a nail gun for the whole project. Two reasons. The nail gun is a pain because it misfires like 75% of the time. Number two, it's really hard to take it back apart when you make a mistake. And we haven't had to really take too much apart. We haven't made a lot of mistakes on this. But had we made mistakes, man, the nail gun makes it so hard to take apart. Screws just zzz, 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 and they're out. That's where we're going to leave it at today, guys. You want to follow along on the chicken coop build? Click my face right down there to subscribe. And there's a video right over here that you'd probably like to check out. Hope you have a really great day. Keep smiling. <laughs>